Highs to Wire, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with some comments on the WBA middleweight championship fight between champion and unbeaten champion Janady Golovkin versus Kasim Uma. Now remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I like Golovkin, who is a 9-1 to favorite in this fight, big. Even though the fight at first glance looks unbettable, I believe that you can take Golovkin at 9-1 to to win. Let's say you had 90, right? You bet 90 to win 10, and then take the 10, your expected winnings, and put it on Golovkin by KO. Understand that Golovkin has a 85% knockout ratio. Understand, too, that Golovkin in the amateurs was dominant. So dominant that he knocked out current 168-pound champion Lucien Butte, and he beat Andre Durrell. He's a come-forward fighter. He cuts off the ring. I've posted on my channel page, at the bottom of the page in my favorites, the amateur fight he had against Andre Durrell. You're going to see that he is methodical. He is relentless. He is a banger who's going to come forward. Now, I know Kasim Uma has a chin and is very hard to knock out, but understand, he also comes forward. No one is going to be backing up in this fight, right? The hedge gives you some security just in case Golovkin doesn't get the knockout. But my point to you is I fully expect him to stop Kasim Uma. I believe you need to do it on a hedge play because of Uma's experience. The case for Uma winning can be found in, ironically, his loss to Vanis Martirosian, where Uma looked pretty good and hung in there. But understand that Golovkin is bigger than Martirosian, right? This fight's at 160. You'll notice in the Durrell fight, they're actually fighting at higher than 160. Golovkin hits hard, and Golovkin is rumored to have roughed up Alfredo Angulo in sparring, and Angulo fights a lot like Kasim Uma, only with more hand speed, more power, more explosiveness. I like Golovkin big in this fight. The play I'm recommending is Golovkin to win the fight, straddled against Golovkin by KO. I don't believe you should have any money on Kasim Uma, who is a guy who has been a champion and who is a very solid opponent. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here uh, on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me just add a quick addendum. I've uh, been alerted to the fact that my channel page right now is not allowing viewers to post comments. That's a YouTube bug. I have notified YouTube they're working on a fix. I know that um, several people every day leave comments. We talk about boxing lines on Skybet, um, uh, a lot of other uh, sites. We talk about boxing odds. We talk about fights. People make predictions, not just me, but other people visiting the site. Hopefully, I'll get that back up and working in the next 24 hours. Let me also say, too, the Scott Guilford article on BoxingNews24.com, in which he states that David Hayes' power dissipates after a round and a half. All I could say is, uh, Scott, I love your work. I think you're great. But you need to look at the 12th round of the Value F fight. I'll just say, Value F, in my opinion, has never been hit harder in his boxing life. David Hayes' power actually does carry. He also knocked out Mormack in the middle of the fight, in a fight in uh, France. Um, also, the fact that Hay fought Value F in Germany and fought Mormack in France should alert you to David Hayes' mental toughness. I think he'll be able to do well. Plus, the Ruiz fight, referenced by Scott Guilford, um, understand that Ruiz was more aggressive in the first round against David Hay than I've seen Vladimir Klitschko be aggressive in his fights. It takes Klitschko a while to get started. I don't know who wins Hay Klitschko. Let's just say, though, that to claim that David Hay, a 
uh, former undisputed cruiserweight champion, Unified, who now has a share of the heavyweight belt and had to track down Vladimir Klitschko to get this fight, to say that he's made it to where he is without power in the middle or later rounds, I think, is a disservice to David Hay and overlooks his record. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.